In every one of my videos, I say, if you wanna make money online, you have to find problems to solve. And undoubtedly, in every one of my videos, someone will comment, well, how do you actually find problems to solve? So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the different ways that you can find problems to solve and actually make money online. There's gonna be like 10 different ways, find one that works for you and go all in. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you wanna be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned, if you wanna be successful online, you just have to find one problem and solve it. There are probably 10 different ways where you can find different problems, and I'm gonna show you by jumping into my computer. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that you can do if we look at my computer is you can take a look at the recent things that you've purchased the recent things that you've purchased solve a problem or else you wouldn't have bought it literally anything and everything that you spend money on including the camera including the phone that you have right in, in the palm of your hands solves a problem but let's take a look at my recent orders the last thing that i purchased was a rechargeable battery because i'm creating more content i have a backup battery so that when this one dies i can quickly swap it out and i can continue to create content but what is this battery a part of? It's for a camera. Okay, maybe someone wants to learn how to create better videos with their Sony camera. That's a problem. The camera is a problem and you can create content to solve that problem. Let's scroll down a little bit. We've got running shoes. My daughter started track at eight years old. That's a problem that needs to be solved. How to run faster, how to run, how to breathe when you're running. Uh, swim goggles, that's a problem. These are kids that wanna learn or are swimming. My son is into soccer. Both of my kids are into soccer now. Both of my sons are into soccer but those are problems to solve. This microphone is connected to this microphone stand for content creation, for podcasts, for creating YouTube videos. Hopefully you're able to start seeing that all of these different products that I purchased recently solve a problem and you can reverse engineer to create content. Now I have a bunch of videos that talk about the best content to create. I'm sure that's the next question that you'll ask, but start thinking about creating content from the bottom up. Okay, most people make the mistake and they wanna create content from the top down. They wanna create who, what, when, where, why, how type content, but it's gonna to be too competitive. Create content from the bottom up. So for this Rode Professional Studio Arm, create content about the actual product first, and that will allow you to build a core following that'll allow you to start earning affiliate commission. So this is just one way. Take a look at the things that you've purchased recently, and it's a good place to start. Another thing is you can start looking at different YouTube channels that you follow. You can go over to youtube.com or TikTok. I'll show you TikTok in just a moment, but look at the social media that is popping up on your feed. Look at the different types of social media that you follow. For example here, we've got this thing about the love at first sight or marriage at first sight, whatever that's called. This guy, Tommy G, has documentaries. But if you can simply just look through and find different opportunities. Another thing that you can do is you can just type in random keywords. For example, I'm gonna type in checklist and I'm gonna do more on checklist in just a moment, but you can type in a random keyword like checklist and you can see that people are asking different questions about checklist. If we spell checklist correctly, check checklist, there we go. And then uh, spice things up a little bit, just type in each letter of the alphabet, checklist Q. Now people are looking up about Quinciera, a checklist for Quinciera. You could create content on that if you have knowledge. So you could simply just go through each letter of the alphabet with a few different seed keywords that I'll reveal th throughout this video, but you could essentially create content there. You can solve a problem there. If people are looking up a checklist for a, a quinceanera, that means that they're going to be throwing a big party and there's all sorts of stuff around that where you can create content to solve problems and potentially make money. The other cool thing with a quinceanera, and hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, is that evergreen. There's always going to be someone turning 16 that's going to want to have a big party. So you can continuously create content in that area and potentially make money. Now, if we look at this, a checklist for e-commerce, let me just go to checklist P checklist planner, checklist productivity, checklist piano, checklist pilot. These are all different areas that you can get into. Even checklist Premiere Pro. These are different opportunities to get into. So simply look at checklist. Also look at what you do at work. If you are an accountant, there are millions of people that want to make sure that they are paying their taxes. There are small mom and pop shops that maybe own a business, a restaurant, a bodega, for example, and they want to make sure that they are doing their taxes 
appropriately. They want to learn about first in, first out, or last in, first out accounting principles. They want to learn how to file their taxes on their own. So whatever you do at work, you could essentially create content to help solve a problem. A few days ago, I talked about there are people on TikTok, an AC repairman on TikTok, who simply creates content about being an AC repairman. And he helps people figure out what is wrong with their AC, their air conditioner, so maybe that they can try and fix it on their own. Those that can't fix it on their own, they may reach out to him and he can provide a guide, maybe a checklist or a planner on how to repair the AC unit on their own. And he could even be an affiliate for different parts and recommend parts based on the problems that they're encountering. So there are tons of different ways to essentially make money solving a problem. You have solved lots of problems. You wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't be in front of me on YouTube watching this video if you didn't solve problems. Think about the problems that you've encountered and solved just to make it here. Another problem are things that happen throughout your day. For example, my car needed an oil change. If you know anything about repairing cars, that's problems that millions of people have. In fact, if we go to YouTube, we could type in something like how to change oil in pick a car even here it says how to change oil in a lawnmower how to change oil in a snowblower these are all problems that people have and you can create content to solve those problems how to change oil in we'll say chevy malibu how to change oil in a chevy malibu we hit the space bar here people are going to be asking about their individual year so you can see right on here people are looking up how to change oil in a 19 chevy Malibu 16, 18, 12. And if we look at these, you're gonna see that this question has been viewed thousands of times, okay? This top result here, 23,000 views, 35,000 subscribers. 958 views, 11,000 subscribers. So what if, what if you created content showing people how to do different things with their Chevy Malibu? Maybe change the windshield wiper fluid, changing the brake pads, changing the brakes, changing the muffler, doing all sorts of stuff, specializing in the Chevy Malibu. That is a problem that people have and you can solve it again and again and again. You can see here that this is being searched thousands of times per month. In fact, this video right here has 42,000 views and the person only has 1.57 thousand subscribers. So this is a teeny tiny account that is solving a problem at a massive scale. Now, how could he monetize this? Because we know that they need help with their Chevy Malibu, you can recommend the oil filter. And as an affiliate through Amazon, you would receive a commission for uh, anyone that buys the exact oil filter that you recommend. You could put together a little cheat sheet, a little guide, a little planner so that they have the oil filter, they have the correct oil. Uh, you could even be an affiliate for like ad advanced auto parts or some of the do-it-yourself uh, companies that are out there and you make money when they click on your affiliate link and make a purchase. Let's talk a little bit more about the seed keywords. There are tons of seed keywords out there. I always recommend that you can find new products that are new to the market. Those are a great way because there's less content on the internet about the those new products but we can type in seed keywords like uh, who what when where why how checklist keep spelling checklist wrong <laughs> checklist planner guide start build glossary there's probably 50 different seed keywords but we can just start here now if we look at this we go to matching terms we can just scroll through now this is a paid keyword tool there are other free tools out there that you could use but we could just look through here and find look at this when is the super bowl when is thanksgiving uh what time is the super bowl how many ounces in a pound which is really interesting because people are looking up how many ounces in a variety of ways these are people that are looking, for the most part, are, are looking for cooking information. Let me give you another example. How long to cook? Now these people are in the cooking baking niche and they wanna know how long to cook a turkey, how long to cook salmon, how long to grill, how long to smoke. Uh, let me just do how long to, how long, hit enter, and I'm gonna change the words to include smoke, cook, or bake. And this is for people that wanna get into the cooking niche. So how long to smoke, cook, or bake? Hit apply, click show results, and you're gonna see that there are uh, over 176,000 keywords and it searched 6.2 million times per month. So 6.2 million times per month, people are asking about smoking something, cooking something, or baking something. And what we can do, if we look at this, you might say, Alston, these keywords are too competitive. We could go and change the keyword difficulty to something that's not competitive at all. Click apply, click show results, and you'll see that 
how long to bake chicken tenders at 350 degrees essentially is not so competitive. So we can copy this, we could come over to YouTube. Now, you're gonna have to do some research. Because you're not an expert in cooking and baking, you would have to learn how long it would take to cook or bake. Now, if we look at this, how crazy is this? Baked chicken tenders at 375 degrees, there's 34,000 views, only 8,000 subscribers. So a teeny tiny channel is getting very good views. Look at this one. How long do you bake chicken at 350 in the oven? 1.4 thousand views, only 327 subscribers. I imagine a lot of the subscribers came from this one video, but you can see for yourself that these simple problems that people are having, you can solve them on the internet and make money. Now, how would you make money? With affiliate marketing, with maybe you have a course where you're teaching people how to bake stuff, become an expert baker. You could be monetized by the YouTube Partner Program or the a TikTok creativity fund or the Pinterest one or Facebook or Instagram, you basically just need to create content and let your target audience tell you what they need and then you can monetize it. How long to cook Tyson frozen chicken wings in air fryer? You could look up all of the questions people are asking about air fryers. So just by looking for different problems to solve, you will find additional problems to solve. We could create an entire account about air fryers, how to do something with air fryers. Hopefully you're able to see that there are so many different options out there. Um, I haven't even scratched the surface on the number of ways to find problems to solve. Whatever your interest, hobbies, motivations are, chances are there are millions of people that also have the same interest, hobbies, and motivation. You can create content for them. Uh, what you do at work all day, whatever your skill is, it can be boring, it can be menial. There are other people that want to learn how to do what you're doing. I use the example all the time. If you spend time in Excel, there's a guy on TikTok who creates tips, tricks, and tactics for Excel, and he's making six figures per year with his simple Excel course. It's something that you could do. Maybe your thing is Canva. Teach people how to use Canva. One thing that you can do, another way that you can find problems to solve is go over to a website called Udemy or Udemy. Now this is an online course platform, but we're going to reverse engineer. We're going to look at the courses that are out there and we're gonna see, okay, someone has a course on dance. Someone has a course on tango dance. Could I create a course in tango dancing and then create content Again, solving a problem about tango dancing, what most people do wrong with tango, why you keep falling on the ground when it comes to tango. You create content showing people how to do it properly, what they're doing wrong, the different types of tango if there are, and then you move them over to a course through your content, and then that's how you make money. Hopefully you're able to see, let me know in the comment section if this is making sense. This works worldwide, it doesn't matter where you live. Another question will be, I live in Nigeria, will this work for me? I live in India, will this work for me? I live in Pakistan, Malaysia, any country, this works. It doesn't matter where you live. People don't care what you look like. People don't care what you sound like. People don't care where you live. They care if you can solve their problem. Once you solve their problem, then they'll care about the other stuff. They'll care what you look like. They'll care what you sound like. As I've mentioned many times before, people are selfish. They only care if you can help them. Stephen Hawking was not the best looking. He didn't even speak. He typed and looked, right? And he was able to be wildly successful because he identified a problem and he was able to solve it. You don't have to be an expert. You just have to be willing to put in the work. The work might be researching and creating content. The work might be spending hours to research. If you're not willing to do the research, you're not willing to do what it takes to be successful online, and that's really on you. More tough love. <laughs> so as you can see, there are so many different ways. Another place you could go is a website like Etsy. I really like going to these different marketplaces because everything is housed in one place and it gives us the ability to find problems to solve quickly. So we're over here on Etsy. Uh, let's type in the letter G here. And the cool thing is Etsy is a search engine. And so just by typing in the letter G, we see gifts for her. So we could do holiday gifts, Christmas gifts, Valentine's Day gifts, birthday gifts, wedding gifts, groomsmen gifts. So that's the wedding niche. Boom, we have an entire industry where we could create content to solve problems, which is the wedding industry. Let's type in the letter J. Journal, jewelry, jujitsu, jewelry box, jacket. It goes on and on and on. Luggage tags, living room, so people want to organize the living room. People may be interested in different types of lamps or light fixtures. We might have to block out the last one because that could be considered kind of racy for YouTube. Vintage, vowel books, don't even know what that is. Vase, 
All of these are different problems that people have. Hobbies count, novelty items count. You could create content about Pokemon, that's a hobby thing. Uh, novelty items, vintage video games, these are all problems that people have and you can create content to solve them. Hopefully you're able to see that there are so many different problems that you can solve that there should literally be no excuse as to why you can't get started and why you haven't gotten started. Find a problem to solve, create content to solve that problem, and then you can figure out monetization on the back end. Now that you know step by step, there are millions of problems out there and you just need to pick one and solve it. Watch this video next. It is a free five hour masterclass that shows you step by step how you can monetize your social media, even if you have a tiny following.